Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am going to be preparing some media to sow some temperate carnivorous plant seeds and I just wanted to go through the steps that I use to to sterilize my media before I sow the seeds. Today I'm going to be sowing Darlingtonia or Cobra Lily seeds and a few Cephalota seeds here as well. So I never ever touch the seeds, there's the first part of your sterilization. You always want to use a nice pair of tweezers or something like that. Never use your fingers because the whole point of sterilizing is to not introduce contaminants, right? So these seeds I've harvested myself and I know um, they haven't been contaminated, although they're not sterile themselves. And this video is not going to be about sterilizing seeds, it's just going to be about sterilizing the media used for the seeds. So I always use these plastic containers. You have to find these exact plastic containers because most plastic containers that are used in delis and stuff like that, if they don't look like this, they're actually going to melt. What we're going to do is get this media moist. So this one here is my Cephalotus media. It is peat moss, coarse sand, and perlite with a skift of just plain peat moss on top so I have good contact with the soil when it comes time for sowing. And this is my cobra lily mix. Again, peat moss and perlite, no sand this time, with a good skift of peat moss just on top for good contact with the seeds. So right now the media is totally dry. I'm going to wet it in the sink over there. And then what we are going to do is throw it in the microwave. So we need one of these two. This is a meat thermometer. But let's start with getting the media wet. So I'm just going to take it to the sink and let's um, try to do this together. All right. Doesn't really matter if it's hot or cold. And we're just adding moisture to the top of the containers. We don't need to get it completely soggy. Just like so. Now being it is um, dry media, you want to take your time and just sort of wet it. But if it's dripping out the bottom, you've actually already used too much moisture, too much water in there. So that will probably be good and you'll see why after. Now these containers I'm actually recycling. I've already used them for seeds. They have holes in the bottom of them already. If you um, are using brand new containers, make sure you throw some holes in the bottom there as well. There we go. That will be plenty of water. And you can see I did it gentle enough that the, for the most part, the peat moss stayed on top for the good contact. So now we're gonna go over to the microwave. See if this will work. The microwave is up quite high. And I just gotta grab my containers here to the sink. We're gonna do one at a time. So I am starting with, I think it's the Cobra Lily container. Put it in and I'm just putting a paper towel underneath of it because there is holes in the bottom and it is going to drip a little. So you can see what I've done with the lid. The lid is attached but still loose on the one side there. Hopefully you can see that and it's focusing. And we're just gonna throw it in the microwave. And we're gonna put it on for five minutes on high and come back after that. Okay, that was five minutes on high. Let's see how this came out. It is going to be warm, so um, make sure you're ready for that. I'm just gonna throw it down there on the um, oven and let's see how we did. So that was five minutes high power, very steamy, very moist in there. And if we look at this, let's see where we have got to. Hopefully we can see that. So we have got the media, even in the dead center of it, up 
over 190 or 88 Celsius, probably closer to 200, if not even a little bit longer. So if 180 can cook turkey, then um, this should sterilize and cook anything else. And there we go. Now, if you had used a different container, the container unfortunately would melt as well. I'm not sure what the difference is or why these containers don't melt, but they don't melt. So we can now let that cool down for a couple hours. I'm gonna do the other one off camera, but I just wanna show you the temperature it gets to. And we'll just seal it up, keep the steam in now. And um, after we sow the seeds, make sure you write on here in felt pen. I'm gonna be writing Cobra Lily seeds. I want to put the date on today because then these guys need stratification and they need to go into the fridge for six weeks. So then they're gonna spend six weeks in the fridge. Then I pull them out after that and I'll write that date on there as well. And then I'll actually write a third date again when they start to actually germinate. That way you have a very good timeline as to, to when they started to actually germinate from start to finish. Anyways, this um, technique is gonna work on Sarcinia seeds, Venus flytrap seeds, cephalotus seeds, um, cobra lily seeds. Believe it or not, I don't at this point do it with my nepenthe seeds, although I could probably put the sphagnum moss in there and um, do it the same way. But um, I do it for most temperate carnivorous plants anyways. It'll work for sundews, everything like that. So now you have sterilized media to start with your seeds, and hopefully that's gonna give them a bit better chance than if you just actually dump them in there with um, unsterilized media. So. In a few hours, I'm going to sew these up. I'm not going to take you long for that, unfortunately, but I'm just going to evenly sprinkle them across the surface. Temperate carnivorous plant seeds don't like to be buried, so that's why I have the peat moss on the top for good soil contact. Give them another mist of water to, again, push them into the soil a little bit and stick them in the fridge. So I hope you like this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.